Well, amateur radio operators in Great Falls area spent the day scanning the airwaves and calling operators all over the country. MTN's Joe Huzinga tells us why. In a world full of communication options, it seems easier than ever to break through the static. Roger, green signal here in the Cheyenne. This is the high noon traffic net. On Saturday, the Great Falls Area Amateur Radio Club tuned in to Skywarn Recognition Day. The Skywarn program partners the National Weather Service with amateur radio operators across the country to help share information. If we've got severe weather conditions like a blizzard or a severe thunderstorm outbreak or flooding, those are conditions that the Weather Service would activate us. The National Weather Service has no shortage of technology, but the Skywarn operators get them information on the ground. They don't want to ever have a situation where the radar, the weather radar is missing something. So they want that ground truth coming back to them from ground reservists. The use of amateur radio operators may seem behind the times, but when disaster strikes, they can be a lifeline. In a worst case scenario, radio based communication, particularly amateurs, is not totally dependent on fixed resources like towers, like cell phones are. This time it's all about practice. Club members spent the day reaching as many weather service sites as they could to send a simple hello and share information. This is the um, National Weather Bureau station in Great Falls, Montana. Temperature right now is 31 degrees Fahrenheit. It's a simple exchange that helps prepare for the unforeseen. Amateur radio comes through when all else fails. In Great Falls, Joe Husinga, MTN News. Today, the club contacted 36 other operators from Boston to Los Angeles and everywhere in between, including 13 participating weather service stations.